Hi everyone, uh, my name is Richard and um, I'm going to show you a few exercises that we can do at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day. And um, these uh, exercises, simple exercises involve your shoulders, a part of your side body, the hips and the legs. So the best way to start this class will come to child's pose. So child's pose is <coughs> you bring your big toes to touch, all right, knees together, then we widen our knees, all right. So make sure that your big toes are touching, knees are wide, then extend your arms forward that way. All right, so you can spread your fingers, then subtly let your head drop. Good, and find your breath here. Inhale, exhale, inhale again, exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Good. Now gently lift up your head. Good. Now walk your hands to your left side. <clears throat> Good. When you get to this position, place your right hand on top of your left hand. Then you're going to inhale, lift up your right side. Then exhale to your left. So we'll do it three times. Inhale. Exhale. That's two. Inhale. And exhale. That's three. Good. Then walk your hands back to center. Then to your right side. <coughs> so this time right hand is down. Left hand is on the top. Then now inhale. Lift your left side. Exhale. Now turn to your right. Inhale again. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Good. And exhale. Good. Now from here, come back to center. Nice. Now bring your palms to touch. So the palms facing each other. Bring them to touch. Then let your head drop. Then we'll hold here for three breaths again. One, inhale, exhale, two, one more, inhale, and exhale, three, good, now from here just lift up your arm, you can confirm what I'm doing, then take your thumb towards your back, and hold again, one, Gently bring your hands down and slowly come up to your hands and knees. <coughs> Good. All right. <coughs> now separate your knees using your two fists that way. Good. So I'll turn so that you see from the side. So two fists. Drop your elbows down next to your knees. Fingers spread. Then lift yourself up. Then walk your hands one step forward so that the wrist and the shoulder are on the same line. <clears throat> so we'll start with the shoulders. So let's make circles. So now as you make circles, take note of the direction your shoulders are moving. That's three, four, and five. Good. Now go the opposite direction. One. Three, four, and five. Good. Now shift back and sit on your heels. And you can make circles with your wrists. That's good. Nice. Then you can do this. All right. Now from there, come back again. Elbows down, fingers spread. Then walk one step forward. Good. Now from here, we're going to do what we call cat cow. So, in, so first of all, before you inhale, let your belly drop. 
inhale lift up your chest then exhale round your back so this is the cut position inhale this is cow exhale cut that's two inhale good exhale three inhale good and exhale four one more and exhale five good now come back to a neutral position and take a little break just to relax your wrists so you have to take care of our wrists in the process can do this good and lastly this good now from there come back again fingers spread walk your hands one step forward good now this time we're going to make a circular motion so move to your right so shift your weight to your left let your belly drop then round your back as in cut good inhale good exhale that's two inhale and exhale three good now go the opposite direction same thing let your belly drop inhale exhale around your back one inhale exhale two inhale and exhale three good so still working on our upper back so bring your right hand to the center so right below your eye level now imagine you're pulling a bow so pull so stretch 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 lift up your chest so make sure that your elbow is pointing up then send your arm up then look up to your thumb one two and three look down then slide your left arm under so take your shoulder all the way down then give yourself a twist for one two and three good now press your right hand down then slide your left arm out then come back to your hands and knees all right now the other side so bring your left hand to the center now imagine you're pulling a bow <coughs> lift up your chest send your arm up one two and three look down then slide your right arm under bring your elbow your shoulder down and give yourself a twist one two and three good press slide your arm out and come back to your hands and knees <clears throat> good job nice now take your hands a bit further forward good now we're going to make circles again this time we're working the lower back so same thing move to your left let your body drop then sway to your right inhale your belly drops exhale to your right two inhale exhale three good now go the opposite direction inhale your belly drop exhale push to your left side one inhale exhale two inhale and exhale three and shift back make circles again we have to take care of our wrists good nice so now from there we're going to take our attention to our hip so we're going to do what we call pelvic tilts good so can come to this position if uh, being in this position is harder you can just come to your hands and knees that way so i'll demonstrate the two so we'll start with the simple one good so for those who cannot sit on their heels so some will have a problem with the knees because they might be tight or their quadriceps are tight so um 
here's the modification for what I'm, I'm about to do. Okay, so we'll start with the modification first. Good, so it's pelvic tilt. So, arms locked. So the only thing that will be moving is the pelvic bone. For the more advanced uh, students can come to child's pose but the feet separated good now extend your arms forward so what you'll be doing is to lift your your tailbone then you tuck your tailbone two three four and five six seven and eight good then gently come up good now we'll shift our attention to the legs so we're going to do some uh, leg rotations good now take your right leg up turn your hip then bring your knee to your elbow good so you inhale up turn your hip exhale you bring it forward so from the front view, this is how it will look like. Good. So inhale, your right leg up. Turn your hip. As you turn your hip, lift it up. Inhale. Now exhale. Bring it in. Drop, not to the mat, but hanging above the mat. Inhale. Turn your hip. Exhale. Knee to elbow. Good. Inhale again. Turn your hip, exhale, one more time, inhale, turn your hip, exhale, good, now we'll do the opposite, so take your leg up, inhale, bring your leg in, open, then exhale, one, inhale, open, exhale, two, inhale, open, exhale three inhale open exhale four inhale open and exhale five good then gently come down sit on your heels again make circles with your wrists <clears throat> good then you can do this just to relax your, your wrists Good. So I'm going to do the same thing on the left side. Huh? Separate your knees using your two fists. Fingers spread. Lift up. Walk your hands one step forward. Good. So you're going to take your left leg up. Inhale. Turn your hip. Exhale. One. Inhale. Turn your hip. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Turn your hip, exhale. Three, inhale. Turn your hip, exhale. Four, inhale. Turn your hip, exhale. Five, good. Then from here, we're going to do the opposite direction. So take your leg up, inhale, bring the knee in. Open, exhale. One, inhale, open, exhale. Two, Inhale, open, exhale, three, inhale, open, exhale, four, inhale, open, exhale, five, good, then gently come down, sit on your heels, and make circles again with your wrists, good, and we can take a bit of rest in child's pose. Or if it being in this position is hard, you can take your knees wide, then extend your arms forward. There you go. And let your head drop. And just relax here.
good. All right. And um, so that's how you can either start your day or end your day. So thank you so much for practicing and um, on to the next one. Thank you so much. Namaste.